All right, so fast forward a little bit. It's been about eight months since Porsche Section 8 voucher went through and she moved down to Troll Projects. Now, during the course of this time, she got cool with a few girls down there in the court she lived in. One more so than the others. There was a girl named Chappelle. Chappelle did hair in the projects. Finger waves, wraps, box braids, all that shit. She was nice with it. Her and Portia had hung out a few times, fucking with the bars and shit. Nothing too tough, but they considered each other friends. Now Chappelle fucked with a cruddy ass nigga from down the projects. Named Lil Sean. His family was originally from Chapel Hill Projects, but you know they knocked that down. And all them guys, a lot of them guys migrated to the Troll Project. His family was deeply rooted in the hood. But anyway, Sean Lil Crew down there ran the Troll Projects in some parts of East Baltimore as well. Around the projects. Alright, so boom. On this one particular evening, Portia needed her hair done. You know, she rocked a short hairstyle, so she was going to fuck with the finger waves. Her little brother was having a going away party. He was about to join the military. So she needed her shit done. Now, usually, she go head on over Chappelle house when she get her hair done. But this time was different. She was babysitting for her sister. For a couple of hours, her sister had three little kids. So instead of bringing all them kids over Chappelle house, she just had Chappelle come over her shit. A little more convenient. But anyway, Chappelle had never been inside Portia Police. But when she got in that motherfucker, that shit fucked her head up. Portia had that motherfucker laid out. High-end leather couches, big floor model TVs in every room. Cable all through the house. Nice glass table. She had a chandelier put in. And Chappelle just couldn't believe she lived in the same court. But this girl house like she lived in Beverly Hills some shit on the inside. So automatically the jealousy start kicking in. She all in Portia shit, looking around with the stank face. But Portia blind to the fact. I mean, she knew her shit was above average and she went out of her way to make it look like that. But rarely do she have people in her house to even see it. So they go in the kitchen, sit in the chair, lay all the hair supplies on the kitchen table. And Chappelle started doing the finger waves in the kitchen. But the whole time she fell in her thoughts, thinking like, fuck this bitch, think she better than somebody or something? This is the shit that's going through her mind. The whole time Portia talking to this girl regular, making small conversation. Chappelle hitting her with the fake smiles, whole time low key hating, big boy hating. So while she in the middle of finger waving her hair, out of nowhere the front door just open up. Richard and Fat Sandy walk in the apartment. Richard had his own key. So Portia like, hey babe, I'll be finishing in a minute. But Chappelle almost like starstruck. She couldn't believe what she was saying because she knew exactly who Fat Sammy and Richard was. These niggas was getting money. Chappelle was looking dumbfounded trying to put two and two together. That's when Richard walked over, gave Portia a kiss and asked her like, you wanna introduce me to your friend? Portia just started blushing. Like this is my own girl Chappelle. She live across the street. Richard looked up and down, gave it a once over, like, oh, all right, that's what it is. He like, how much I owe you for this head, you know? Chappelle like, this $60 for real. Without hesitation, Richard go in his pocket, whoop out a meat rump, get the pill. He laid $250 bills on the table. Tell her keep the change. But while he was peeling, she looking at the money like, damn, nothing but 50s and 100s. He knew she was impressed by that shit, but that was the whole point. When Fat Sammy came in the kitchen and introduced herself, she couldn't believe it. Cause she knew he was one of the richest niggas in the city. He didn't have a clue who she was. But anyway, Fat Sammy get to look at Chappelle over, liking what he see. So he get to press him down. But she hit him with the, I'm pregnant. So when Fat Sammy heard that, he gracefully bowed out. She wasn't lying though, she was pregnant. Just undecided whether she gonna keep it or not. Cause little Sean ain't having shit together. Still toting guns, running the street, wild, buck wild. So Chappelle had a decision to make, but she was definitely pregnant. Sammy go to the refrigerator, pour himself a cup of orange juice. He's standing that bitch lit up like a light show. Big honey gauge, 18 karat gold chain, MCM sweatsuit, gold Versace glasses, dripping in that bitch. 
big presidential role. He ain't had to really say a lot. Looking like money. But anyway, so when Chappelle finished finger waving Portia hair, Portia helped her clean up her supplies off the kitchen table. And Chappelle thanked Richard again for the tip. He told her it wasn't no problem. Needless to say, when she left out that house, her mind was going 100 miles an hour because she had been hanging with Portia this whole time with not a clue as to who she really was. So when she got back to her house, little Sean was sitting on the couch in the living room playing the Atari. She walked straight in the living room, cut the TV off. Little Sean sit the joystick on the couch like, damn, what the fuck? Chappelle like, yo, you not gonna believe this shit. Little Sean sit up off the couch like, what? 